Hello, I'm Alan Keyes. I'm joined today by Brent Curtis, and we're here to provide you a look at some of the stories we're working on for tomorrow's paper. We're on verdict watch right now, the big trial going on over uh, just down the road on Merchant's Row at the uh, courthouse down there. That's right. And Jennifer Barubi, who is charged with the attempted murder of a city police officer, testified today in her own defense. She did. She did. She took the stand on the final day of the trial, the only uh, uh, witness to testify today. Um, she said uh, repeatedly that she had no intention to, uh, to uh, kill or hurt uh, Officer Damon Wynn when she uh, crept up behind him um, and put a knife, put her arms around him and put a knife uh, allegedly to his throat uh, on December 27, 2012. Uh, it's a, it was a, a, a fairly... Um, compelling video I think and I don't know if you've actually seen the video but the, it was all caught on, on video and it was shown to the jury uh, repeatedly during the trial um, and now they have to decide those uh, 12 men and women have to decide whether she actually had the intent to kill him when she snuck up behind him and, and did what she did. Uh, Wynn was injured but uh, thankfully it was a relatively small cut in an area that could have been much worse if, if the cut had been deeper. And also, I guess she, she, she was saying that she only was trying to get the keys to she help was, free her boyfriend who was also in the holding exactly, area? Exactly, exactly, exactly. She, she actually uh, claimed, says that she feared for his life because uh, he had made intimations before that he would kill himself rather than go to jail again. Uh, she uh, said today that she thought he was actually choking himself to death with his boot laces uh, moments before mm -hmm. she made this uh, attempt. And if there is a verdict, we'll post that on our website at rutlandherald.com as soon as it comes in. Absolutely. And also in tomorrow's paper, we'll have a story about Brandon pursuing a sidewalk grant, a uh, new steeple coming to a church in Wallingford, street talk asking people about their reactions to the storm that happened um, earlier this week. The what, was, what was your reaction to the storm, Alan? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also have a story about a troubled bear, or a bear causing trouble, down in southern Vermont. Um, I guess it's been going to bird feeders, and it's been coming up to people, I guess closer to people. And so they've been, the Fish and Wildlife Department has issued a warning uh, to people to, to, if they see this bear, don't go near it. Take in your bird feeders um, everywhere. Do they have his mug shut up in the post office? No, but they did release a photo of him tearing apart a bird feeder. So, and they actually, it's a bear. Chilling. They, it's a bear they have been tracking, so there actually is a number. It has like a little tag on it and stuff. It's like C3 something or other is hmm. the name of the bear. If but they anyway, can track it, why is there a problem for It just has a tag bear? on it. It doesn't have like a GPS or oh, anything. Oh, okay. So, anyway, that's a look at some of the stories we're working on for tomorrow's paper. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.